August 15th marks the partition of India and Pakistan, the largest forced migration in human history. So how did this massive and tragic event happen in the first place in a region where people seemingly coexisted at one point? To understand, we have to rewind back to the years leading up to 1947. As the British were colonizing India, they began identifying people by their religious identity, simply throwing them into labeled categories. This meant that Hindus could only elect Hindu representatives and leaders, and Muslims could only elect Muslim representatives and leaders. This obviously caused tension between the religious communities and began to sow distrust and violence. So as the August of 1947 comes along, the British no longer had the resources to control the subcontinent because of their losses after World War II. Colonization was about to come to an end after nearly 200 years, but the execution of it was completely sloppy and inconsiderate of the population. Independence in theory sounded great because that's what the people wanted, so as the colonizers safely and peacefully went home, this man named Cyril Radcliffe was given 40 days to split up this region that he had never been to and had no deep knowledge of, based on one sole factor, religious identity. So he ended up splitting the country into two parts, India for Hindus and Pakistan and East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh for Muslims. So as the new boundaries were announced, millions of people began scrambling trying to find themselves on the right side of the border. And anyone can see why this would be a problem, because for example, although Karachi was the capital of Pakistan, it was 47% Hindu, and likewise there were cities in India that were majorly Muslim. People simply had to pick up and make a migration across the whole country. These boundaries also didn't take into account other groups such as Sikhs, Buddhists, and Christians. What happened after the boundaries were created can never be forgotten. Train stations became bloodbaths as migrants tried to find themselves in the country that was assigned for them. Families were broken apart, tribes and ethnic groups were separated and displaced, and people had to leave behind their land, their families, and the only places that they've ever called home. And a world where Pakistan and India were a unified entity seemed so far gone. 